our deep sense of responsibility, our maturity, our wisdom, and our scholarship are there to help us to understand the will of Imam. Through Marjariya, through scholars, we can form a sound collective opinion of what Imam wants, according to the best of Ishtahab. But no one can say, no, literally I have received this message from Imam and this is what you have to do. This means they are taking us back to the era before Qaybah. In this time, it is true that we are more challenged because we are not receiving direct, literal communications. But actually this challenge is because we are going, inshallah, higher in our understanding and commitment. As we have in many hadiths, for example, from Imam Zainul Abidin alayhi salam, that the Shia in the time of Qaybah are the best of people of all time. Afdalu ahli kull zaman. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given them so much of ma'afah, so much of understanding that for them Qaybah and Shahud are the same. So we are in the time of Qaybah, but we should have that much of understanding that seeing Imam or not seeing Imam will not make difference. And now all of a sudden the person comes and says, you know, I have access to Imam, you don't use your ishtahad, you don't you know, refer to your maraj, you not to ulama, I tell you what you are supposed to do, he's taking us back. In any case, there is no such a thing that one person would represent Imam in a specific way. We don't have no al khas in this era. There is no also such a thing that there is a place, a particular place that you go and visit to see the Imam or to do ziyar of Imam. For Imam Mahdi, we don't have such a place. Yes, there are places that can be relating us better to Imam. But it's not that Imam has a particular shrine or particular residence that you go. It can be anywhere in the world. So, no physical residence as such is there for Imam. No specific representation is for Imam as such in the way that I explain. It's all a matter of your heart and your mind being trained and educated to be always feeling deep connection to Imam. If people visit a personality, it helps them to have an encounter with that personality but it doesn't guarantee that they are really meeting heart to heart. Sometimes we are in presence of someone, but we are thinking about something else. Or we are so much different in our understanding, in the level of our understanding, that just we have physical encounter. Suppose a person who doesn't know anything about a field of study, for example, someone doesn't know anything about philosophy, and he meets a great philosopher. What type of encounter can be there? There is a physical encounter, but not intellectual encounter. In the time of Ghaliban, there is no physical chance for most of people to encounter Imam alayhi salam. But there is all chance to have a spiritual and intellectual encounter with Imam. And
And this is what I want to talk about. How can we develop deep connection to Imam of our time through our understanding and through our spirituality so that we feel his presence. We can understand his will. In Dua'i and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to include us the people who implement his commands. Al-Mumtathaleen al-Awamr. 